I'm with Mike Walker here at 5150 Race Trailers today, and uh, Mike, I've got a question for you. Why would I buy your product over someone else's? Quality. That's the name of the game, quality. Yes. You are the founder of Wildside Trailers. Uh, why did you start 5150 Trailers? I just needed to do something different. It's time for a change. So this uh, is a change. This is a change. This is a change. So, uh, what particular differences are there in a wild side trailer and a 5150 trailer? Well, I have a lot of new inventions all the time, and I, that's why I wanted to do this 5150. Um, I keep dreaming new stuff up. I keep listening to the racer. They keep telling me new things they want. We want to put them in trailers. And uh, let me do what I do at best, and that's create new stuff. Now, uh, you don't just do race trailers. You also do motor coaches. That's what we're sitting in. It's a thing of beauty. Thank you. We love our motor coaches here, and uh, they take too much time, but we sure take pride in what we do. Uh, box framed. I noticed everything's box framed. What's, uh, is that different from most race trailers that you see? Well, a lot of different trailers are built different ways. Ours are box framed, for we want the longevity of the product, and we've been doing this a long time, and the trailers are still out there running all over the country with, without any trouble. So that's the idea of the box frame. We're now with Mark Walker. Mark, you're the sales Red manager. here, or manager, yes. you, I guess you're the only one, so uh, uh, tell us a little bit about who you've sold to, who y'all do trailers for, and, uh, and a little bit about that. Well, we've sold trailers to a variety of people in all sorts of racing. Of course, the heart of it is, is the uh, dirt racing thing. That's where we're all, we started at. However, we've sold uh, trailers to uh, people in NASCAR, Dave Marcus, uh, Mike Skinner, Richard Petty. Uh, we've sold uh, trailers and trucks conversions to uh, professional bass fishermen. Uh, as we speak right now, I've got two trailers uh, under construction for uh, Cruz and Tony Pedregon, the drag race people. So we've, we've done a, a, very, a vast variety of people. Well, these things aren't just stamped. They come in with their own ideas and you put those together for them. Every, every one we build is, is different than the last one. Uh, if a guy wants... Uh, uh, basically, there's not anything we can't do, and it seems like everybody's different. We're, you know, we're a one at a time, total custom, fab shop. This belongs to a gentleman by the name of Tim Fryer out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. He races asphalt, a lot of Southern All Star stuff. This is actually the second one that uh, Tim has actually owned. He's a very good customer, and hopefully, it's not his last one. You've got one sitting outside for the Intimidator, I understand. We are doing one for the Intimidator, yeah. Chris Wall out of uh, Baton Rouge has uh, got a new one on order, and uh, I'm sure uh, he'll be up here at, at least around the Duck River racetrack two or three times this year, and we'll be uh, proud to uh, show that off. Well, let's go look at this operation from the ground up. Let's do it. Mark, tell me how this whole operation gets started. Well, as you can see behind me, it all starts right up there on that wall, every bit of it. We build everything from the ground up. And uh, all custom made operation? All custom made. I mean, basically, if you want it, we'll build it within reason, of course. And it'll be a box frame construction? It'll, everything we do is a box frame construction. Uh, we've had these actually uh, before actually roll over on ice and things like that, up, and I know in the Midwest. And uh, they've actually been able to, the two that have crashed, have actually been able to pull, been pulled over and drove back home. That's wow. how tough they are. Well, let's look at that box fun. All right, let's do it. Well, we're standing in front of one of your race trailers at your... Uh, actually, motor motorhome. Home. It's the motorhome. Motor home. Yeah. Wow. You'd never believe it, would you? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. So, uh, next to us over here. Motorhome also. That's also a motorhome. Motorhome also. Why a box frame over other frames? There again, the strength. Just strength and uh, quietness. Uh, a lot of our competition now, uh, they build uh, things out of fiberglass. Well, obviously, with fiberglass, if you, if you damage it, uh, it's very easy to damage. Well, ours are all steel. And with these big semis, you know, underneath them, uh, weight is not a problem. And nothing but good things, I guess, you've heard off of these trailers. Well, we've been doing it for so long, we've got such a following, I guess, I guess pretty much, in most of our following, you know, we have a lot of repeat and referral business. So. Well, if you got NASCAR guys and uh, big dirt guys, you know that the word's gotten out that the 5150 is supposed to buy your title. Well, we, we sure hope it is, anyway. It's, it's good. Let's move on to the next aspect. That's good. Now, who's trailer are we in here? This trailer here is for Jimmy Owens. He'll uh, be uh, debuting this in Volusia here in February, and uh, 
this one right here is about three or four days away. I never looked at it. It's three or four days away. That's right. Uh, tell us what they're doing right now. Right now, it looks to me like they're putting in tire racks. As you know, and dirt people know, we got to carry a lot of tires. And, and that's really the reason why these are so doggone big is because of all the tires that we have to carry. Now, the cars are actually, cars are actually on top. Is there any way we can look up in the second deck? Certainly. Let's Certainly. Let's yeah. You climb ladders? I don't believe I will. Uh, well, uh, let's we'll try <laughs> And that is something that my brother Mike pioneered years ago in the tag type trailer. We were the first ones to ever build this type of contraption. Wow. And most of the big guys now have those. Most everybody's got them. Of course, there's been a lot of copy people. There are people who've copied this, but, but yeah, most everybody's got one. You know, the big touring guys, they have to have them. And you get a couple of cars up? Two cars yeah. up, and then this is their shop area. And in our shop area, I mean, there'll be cabinet after cabinet, all the shocks, springs, tires, of course, and a lot of these we even put restrooms in. Wow. Yeah. So racing's got really big, especially dirt track racing. You know, people think that racing is as big as NASCAR and things like that, but dirt track racing is really not too far behind it, and it's getting better. So this operation about four days apart. Uh, you've got cabinets to put in yet. Uh, they'll go on that wall? They'll go on both walls. They'll actually be in the end cabinets, little sliding glass doors at the back. Of course, we have a garage door up top to keep everything clean. And pretty much all of this, y'all manufacture right here. We do it all. The only thing that we don't do in-house, actually, are the cabinets uh, themselves. And we get them right out of uh, uh, Columbia, Tennessee, from the Jeff Seaman Technocrat Cabinets. And they make your wood cabinets also? No, we actually do that. You do the wood cabinets. We do that in-house. It's something we didn't do for years, and now we, now we finally do that. And boy, that's what it got. That's amazing. What's this operation right here, Mark? These are actually the axles. These are the same axles, or 20,000 pound axles that you'd find under an over-the-road over the semi. They're on air ride, they have aerobic hydraulic brakes. People like the looks of the spread, and we like it too because it enables us to make another storage compartment. And storage is everything to the big time racing. Now is that helpful with having two race cars up on top? Does that stabilize the, the ride anymore? These are, no. No, there's the, the bottom, the way we construct them, it doesn't matter how much weight or how much isn't up top. You could never tell the difference behind one of these big rigs. And y'all put all the axles, everything here? Uh, everything house. here is in-house. We buy it, we put it on. And, and, you know, most of our guys have been with us for years and years, so they know what they're doing. Awesome. And we're standing in front of Chris Wall's Peterfield, soon to be a motorhome. Mm -hmm. uh, does the customer, can they supply you the truck, or do you take care of that? Or We do either. Uh, most times a customer supplies us the truck. We're one of the very, very few in the country that do this, that actually do it on a customer supplied used or new truck. And the used is really a pretty good way to go because there are a lot of used, used ones out there for about half the money. Right. So, and no more miles than what we all put on them a year, and as easy as we use them, the last time forever. Uh, it's got the sleeper on it, but you say y'all can convert that even. Yeah, we're the only ones in the country that do that. We'll take a 387 Peterbilt or a T2000 Kenworth, cut the back off it, and yet we'll uh, we'll make a new roof for it, and actually they're able to keep the overhead bunk, you know, another sleeping area that we do. And we actually do that conversion right here in-house. Well, that's amazing. That's amazing. So who do they need to call? They need to call me. <laughs> Mark Walker. Mark Walker. Uh, 5150 race trailers, 866, get 5150. Now behind us is the uh, tire racks that you were talking about. Yes. That's all custom made right here in the show. There it is. It all starts up on a wall. And this gentleman here, that's what he does. does. Go ahead, yeah, let's, let's see what he does here. Now, this is stainless steel? Uh, that's actually aluminum. Aluminum? It's actually aluminum. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that will hold up over years and years, years and years and years and years. And there again, it's lightweight. It's pretty and it shines and, and it'll keep that shine as long as people take care of it. Now, uh, you've got another one over here that's uh, not too far from completion. Let's go over and check it out. All right. Now this is Jimmy Owens Motor Coach. It right. goes along with the trailer that you've got to have done in four days. So I assume you're going to have this one done in four days off. That's hope. That's Wait. hope. Now he's going with the hardwood floors. Tell us about the floor combinations. That the you flooring can. we use is real hardwood. We sand it, we stain it, we do it all. Uh, but we, you know, we do some. I think uh, you might have looked at that red the one we were in. That had marble floor. Mm -hmm. Actually, that oh, was actually marble. marble. That wow. was actually marble. We do marble. We do granite. We do there again, whatever the customer wants. 
so uh, you're pretty flexible in what you We're do. We're pretty flexible, yeah. Now, I've got another uh, thing I want to show you on the Jimmy Owens coach that uh, I haven't seen on a lot of them. I'd like to see what y'all, y'all do this. Uh, I don't know if this is something that you do on the side. The slide is out? Is that something that y'all The slide out of something? No, we did. I, I would like to say, well, we did. We did one 10 years ago. It was probably one of the first ones ever. And then uh, it caught on in the motorhome industry. And, and right now, people, very very few people will buy them without it. They just they increase the room size tremendously. And we do up to three or even four slide outs on one of these. Now, this is like a floating bay that comes out from the from the Exactly tunnel. what it is. That's what it is. It's a floating bay. Generally, we put a dinette and couch out there, and it just, just uh, widens things up a bit. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. Well, give me your phone number one more time. 866-GET. G-E-T 5150. And get a custom built trailer. Custom built trailer, truck, and we don't, we do uh, every size. We don't necessarily do all the very large ones. We do the smaller ones, but uh, this is really, we do most things. We do a lot of 53 footers also, the big semi trailers too. So. Mark Walker, thank you. Thank you, Gary.